This is the office for March 19th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 102, verses 15 to 22. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless. He will not despise their plea. So let this be written for a future generation, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looked down from his holy place on high, from the heavens he beheld the earth, that he might hear the groan of the captive and set free those condemned to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms also to serve the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Numbers. From Mount Hor they set out by the way to the Red Sea, to go around the land of Edom. But the people became discouraged on the way. The people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent poisonous serpents among the people, and they bit the people, so that many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord to take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a poisonous serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten shall look at it and live. So Moses made a serpent of bronze and put it upon a pole, and whenever a serpent bit someone, that person would look at the serpent of bronze and live. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. One writer on silence asks whether silence is properly understood as the exile of speech. Interesting expression. He answers his own question saying, no, rather silence is the love of one word. There is indeed only one word needed for all truth. Added to that is the idea that disbelief, incredulity is always talkative. Belief is the ability to be silent in the presence of the one word the word with a capital W that matters, that word which is God's present presence among us, God's creative power, that element of God that has been since the beginning advocating for us, joining us in our life, coming among us to share our experience and to bless it. So in fact, no, it isn't a matter of disdaining speech, disdaining words entirely, but rather recognizing that all of the words are just a, a pale reflection of the one capital W word that matters. I ask you to pray for the day, 
for the world and for the church. Pray for our neighbors who are sick, those who seek medical care today, those who will help them, all those who are in need of medical care but are unable to afford it or unable to find it. Pray that the hands and hearts of those who work in health care will be the hands and heart of God. Pray also for the world where health is far more an issue than it is for us. All those places where even basic sanitation and basic health care are not available. Pray that we will share more equitably the resources that we have. And pray for the church which has always taken a role in the healing of human beings. Pray that it will not neglect that role today. It will find a way to participate more completely, more actively in the healing of our fellow human beings. Almighty God, through the incarnate word, you have caused us to be born anew of the imperishable and eternal seed. Look with compassion upon those who are being prepared for holy baptism and grant that they may be built as living stones into a spiritual temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>